hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today i am making this amazing so delicious tuscan salmon recipe it's so creamy so delicious i can't wait to show you guys how it's done but before i begin be sure to like the video if you enjoy it leave me a comment and let's get started All right guys, here are the ingredients. I'm starting with three salmon filet. They're nice and clean. Here we have some seasoned salt, ground black pepper, paprika, Parmesan cheese, butter, minced garlic, olive oil, and we have the sun-dried tomatoes. And also we have some wine, cooking wine, and we have the spinach here as well with the heavy cream. Okay, that's all you need to make this recipe. It's super quick and super delicious. So first thing I'll be doing is mixing all of my seasoning together. I am going to combine the seasoned salt with the paprika as well as the ground black pepper. Now to season our salmon, we wanna add some olive oil to it, that way our seasoning can stick on there. You are going to give that a nice rub. And make sure to flip it over and you know add the oil there as well now i am going to start seasoning we're going to generously season these and i'll show you guys what to do next Now my seasoning was not enough. I went ahead and add a little bit more of the seasoned salt. Now in this skillet here, I am going to be adding about two tablespoons of the oil. Once it's nice and hot, of course on medium high heat, you are going to place your salmon skin side down first, okay? Now you're going to place the salmon and they're just like so. You are going to cook those for about three to four minutes. My salmon was a little bit thin, so they didn't really need the full four minutes. So we're going to flip them over in about three minutes so we don't dry them out too much. So you are going to flip them over and allow the other side to cook. Once these are done, you are going to remove them, set them aside in a separate plate so you can start making the cream sauce. I am going to discard some of the oil because it was too much. Then we are going to add about two tablespoons of butter in the same skillet. Once my butter is melted, I am going to be adding in my minced garlic. You are going to cook the minced garlic for about, you know, 30 seconds until they started to fragrant. Then you are going to be adding in your sun-dried tomatoes. Now, if you want, you can add some onion to this as well. However, I didn't add any, but of course you can always jazz it up, you know, customize it to your liking. Now, for those who might be asking, where can I find sun-dried tomatoes? You can find them basically at any grocery stores. Mine, I purchased them at Publix. Of course, you can grab them from 
um, Trader Joe's or Walmart or basically everywhere if you can't find them at your local supermarket I will have a link below for you guys if you guys want to you know order it online on Amazon now we're going to toss these for about a minute or two once they're nice and you know fragrance as well you are going to pour in your cooking wine just to deglaze the bottom of the skillet just give that a toss here and there then you are ready to add in your heavy cream just pour that in there and you are going to give that a nice stir once more now at this point as you guys can see i'm not sure if you guys are able to see i am cooking this on medium low now i'm going to be adding in my spinach i like to use a lot of spinach especially when i'm making these type of recipes you know spinach even though you have a tons of spinach once you're done cooking them you barely can see the spinach so i'm going to add a good amount in there we're going to toss it let that you know simmer on low for about two minutes or maybe one minute and a half then you are going to add your parmesan cheese just add that in there and give it another stir just like that and at this point is the time for you to taste your sauce to see if you need any more seasoning you can add that in there now i need now i I needed a little bit more salt and pepper so I went ahead and add that in and then we're going to give it a final stir and then we next we're going to give it a next we're going to give it a final stir now we're going to add in our beautiful salmon filet Mmm, just beautiful. Look at the color on these salmons. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now, any sauce from the salmon, just pour that in there and you are ready to go, honey. Now you can take a spoon and just baste your salmon with the sauce. How beautiful is that? this y'all this is so effortless but the taste of this is like you put a lot of effort to it okay it is restaurant quality y'all you have to try this at home and let me know how you guys you know like it now i'm going to let it simmer for another minute and at this point you should turn off your stove you are ready to go honey I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Please, please, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me as usual because this recipe definitely deserved a thumbs up. It was absolutely delicious. Also, subscribe if you're new here and I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye guys.